in on this. It's sometimes said that Pakistan's nuclear weapons are under much greater control, much better command and control than Americans realize, and that to that extent, we should ratchet back our anxiety a little bit, that this is a better controlled system and structure than we think. Well, my answer to your first question is that, yes, I do believe that Pakistan is a dangerous place. Uh, but my second part of that answer is that not for the reasons the Americans think it is. Uh, the Americans don't get Pakistan. Uh, General McChrystal and many other generals, in fact, uh, American diplomats going back to uh, John Foster Dulles, uh, go to Pakistan and hear one side, and, uh, and, and they sometimes believe when Pakistani officials, especially generals, say, well, America must help us solve our problems. It's not America's problem to solve Pakistan's problem. It's Pakistan's problem to solve Pakistan's problem. Then why is Pakistan a problem? Here's the reason. It was a country that was created with very little prior discussion and analysis. People forget. There's been an Egypt for 5,000 years. There's been an Iran for several centuries, uh, 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 for, for millennia. There's been an India for millennia. Pakistan is only 66 years old. So therefore, it has essentially a lot of psychoses more than it has actual threats and challenges. India, for example, I understand that Pakistanis are concerned about India. But as a Pakistani, I look at history. And of course, I know that the American relationship to history is very unusual. It's the only country in the world where when somebody says that's history, he means that's irrelevant. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, 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 in case of India and Pakistan, it's important to understand, yes, India has never philosophically accepted the idea of Pakistan, but it has not been responsible for initiating any of the wars with Pakistan. Let's be real about that. Uh, Afghanistan is too weak and too poor to attack Pakistan. So most of the problems that Pakistan sees itself in, in uh, is, are psychological rather than real. And the real problems are we have not only 180 million people, we are 210 million according to this morning's estimates uh, based on the uh, population growth. Highest population growth rate uh, in, in, in that region. Um, half the population is below the age of 21. Uh, one third of them will never see the inside of any school. Forget about madrasas, religious schools, any school. They won't even go to a madrasa. One third of that young population. Uh, one third of the population lives below po the poverty line. Another one-third lives just above it. And yet the country has nuclear weapons. And, and I am the only Pakistani uh, who has had the guts, in my opinion, uh, to say that, look, the nuclear weapons should have finally made us secure about India. We have mutually assured destruction, so India will never invade us if we really believe India is going to invade us. Well, guess what? We are now like the guy who keeps buying guns to try and protect himself, and then say, oh gosh, I can't sleep because I'm afraid somebody will steal my guns. <laughs> and so now Pakistan has created this new psychosis that the Americans are going to come and take our nukes away. So the real threat to Pakistan essentially is from a failure to come to terms with its geography, with its history, and with having a direction for it as a nation. Benazir Bhutto, before she was assassinated, had a new vision for Pakistan. And her vision was, we will focus inwards, we will put the kids into schools. We will keep the nukes, but we will eventually sign up with some kind of international agreement that will make sure that we are not looked upon as a pariah. We will join globalization. And if American aid is available to us, we will use it like Korea did or Taiwan did. We are not going to live as an insecure nation because that insecurity then makes people think, Al-Qaeda, well, how can we use them against our enemy, India, instead of considering them the enemy. And that is why we have these interrelated problems in Pakistan. So yes, dangerous place, but Americans sometimes don't